everyone. Welcome back to another quick martial arts tip. Today I have Steve with me to help out, and we're going to take a look at the circles and lines of Kempo. Now there's an old Kempo saying that says, where the line ends, the circle begins, and where the circle ends, the line reappears. And this is something that governs uh, the movements of our self-defense techniques and combinations, and there are a lot of little lessons and strategies that can be learned from this. Today we're just going to take a look at, at a couple. We're going to start with conserving energy in our attack. Now, if Steve gets on guard, uh, let's say I'm throwing a low punch, and my objective, I want to get him to lower his guard so I can punch him in the face. Now, I could do this. I could throw my low punch and then draw back and then throw a high strike. But if I use the circle line concept, it says where the line ends, the circle begins. Now, I'm borrowing his energy. I'm actually allowing him to orbit me into my next movement. And you'll find that's much more efficient. So here, I can orbit around. Now one word of caution, a lot of times we have a strategy in mind when we're attacking, but it might not go as planned. For example, if I want to do punch back knuckle or punch back fist, but he blocks with the other hand, I have to take what he's giving me. So now maybe it's a ridge hand, okay? or maybe it's a finger hook to the eye, or a palm, or, or a looping back fist. So be very careful that you actually use the energy your opponent is giving you and allow it to orbit you into your next movement. A good drill to train this, we have our, our students get into horse stances facing each other where one's attacking, one's defending, and the attacker doesn't know which way their partner is going to block their arm. And if you do that enough, you start to really develop a good sense of how to redirect that energy. And if, if you start putting that into practice, you'll get that skill developed in no time. Now, the next thing, let's look at a self-defense technique. So this was offensive. I'm trying to draw a reaction from him, and I let it orbit me into my attack. Now, if we look at our techniques, oftentimes we'll find that lines and circles are used to make for a more continuous and fluid technique. Again, conserving energy. So let's look at a, a roundhouse punch. So he blocks, and now we're, we have our circular attack. So here's our circle. Where the circle ends, the line begins. Where the line ends from here, instead of drawing back and trying to, to hit him with another strike in that fashion, where the line ends, the circle reappears. Or we could take another take on that. If he does his punch and I block and I hit here and then here, once he caves in, I can come up and clip him with a, uh, another circular elbow. Either way, though, you'll see it makes for a very continuous and, and fluid series of strikes. Take a look at your combinations. You'll see that, that circles and lines are used throughout for just that purpose. Uh, and that'll be it for this tip. In the future, we'll come back to this concept and take a look at how it applies to some other techniques as as well as some joint locking techniques that we use. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.